Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In this video, we're gonna be trying to get the little orange Honda here. We're gonna try to get it started. So I wanna quickly go over the things that this car needs for us to get it started. It has been sitting for a really long time, obviously. I don't know how long, but this thing doesn't have any oil in it. It doesn't have any water in it. It's missing a coil. The ignition is not complete. We don't have a key to get it started. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Maybe we'll hot wire it, or maybe we'll take one from another car. But I think between the, th the three cars, we should be able to get this one started. We picked up some oil and we're gonna take the plugs out. We're gonna oil up the cylinders a little bit. And we're gonna see what happens. I'd have to change the plates. You know? Can you just adjust them? Aren't they adjustable? Uh, yeah. yeah, we could probably adjust them. Put a battery in here and see what happens. See if it even turns over. Yeah, we have the battery from the Pinto, but that battery is super old and it's probably not any good, but we're gonna try to use it. And if it doesn't work, we'll steal the battery out of the Falcon. We'll try that one. So we're gonna tow the little Honda out to the front to make it a little easier because it's kind of far away from everything right now. So the first attempt, we broke the strap, didn't go very well. Attempt number two, we're gonna get the chain. I thought this was gonna be enough, but the car didn't even move. All four tires are completely gone, obviously, to the wheel. It's fighting me. So I'm gonna get a little tiny wire brush just to clean the bolt 
the bolts right there. Looking kind of crusty with all the spider webs and stuff all over it. Here's a brush. I'm not entirely sure what size it is. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to show you guys what I'm doing. There's not enough room under here. Move some of these crusty spider webs out of the way. Can you see? Just to get some of that dirt off so we can figure out what size it is. Put your, put your light on. Camera can see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. You could do it by your hand, man. Let's see what comes. You think it's going to be water or you think it's going to be oil? I don't know. I hope it's not water. It's gonna be black widows. Oh, it's oil. Nice. That looks good. It's yeah. all black and dark, but that's perfect. That's okay. This well, is gonna make a mess. we couldn't find our little pump, so we're gonna try the turkey baster. Fill it up with ATF. There you go. That's a lot. <laughs> we're not gonna squirt. You don't have to squirt the whole thing. It doesn't really matter. Get it in there? I guess. Hold that. Let me take a look down there. I did a little a little a little something in there. Yeah, you got it in there. Got it. I should yeah, I should have went in. You should put some more in there? Uh, do they hide you don't want to hide your locket, right? We're, gonna, we're, gonna, have, we're gonna have to crank it by hand with the plugs out of it. Yeah, yeah we'll do that. We're not gonna let it you run. You wanna put some more in there then? Yeah, put a little more in there. Yeah. We're not gonna try to start it with the oil. Right? We're just gonna let it sit in there. Well, folks, we are figuring this out as we go. Yeah, we're not professionals, for sure. <laughs> we're just doing it. Way more than it needs. Okay, here. All right, that's cool. Let me. Yeah. Do, yeah let me put, let me put, put, put the plug, plug back in. in? Yeah, where's okay. the plug at? Maybe that spark plug was brand new because somebody was messing with this. That's why there's no coil, but we'll get it figured out, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, there's a little thing on there. I'll leave that out for right now. Alright, so I'm gonna plug this. I'm gonna just, we're not gonna tighten them on there because we're gonna crank it over, right? By hand. So I'm gonna yeah. just put that back on there. And we're gonna move on to the next one. Let's see how this plug is going to look. Hopefully it looks just as good as the other one. Because then we're being good shape. But like my dad said, maybe someone was working on this thing and they put new plugs in it to try to figure out what was wrong with it. So. That was a little crusty. That was a little dark? Yeah. This plug looks different than that other plug, doesn't it? I could be wrong. But that's okay. It's yeah. not as clean as the first one. This is the same one. This is but, a, uh, a champion. Okay. Put some more of your sauce in there. Yeah. You can see the whole one right here, huh? Yeah. I think one squirt of that, all that in it is enough. That's a lot. There's a lot, yeah.
uh, slippery with a little bit of ATF on the socket. Here we go. It's a little crusty, just dirty, no problem. All right, fill it up, put some more sauce in there. Uh, one more to go after that. I don't know how much of this we're gonna shell, but this one's gonna be a hot part of this, isn't it? Squirting right back out. Oh, cause maybe the piston's up at the top right there. As long as you get some in there, it's okay. I mean, it's going in there, but. Okay. Slightly squirting back out. Piston must be up at the top. The other thing to find out is why this thing doesn't have any water in it. The radiator doesn't have any water in it. We don't know why. Maybe the guy drained the water out of it. How's that plug look? It looks good. Not too bad. Just kind of a little crusty like the other one. They all look they all they all look real good. You know. Figure out if we got a radiator leak or a hose leak, or maybe they just took the water out of it. Because I think it gets really cold where this car came from. And they might have weatherized it by taking the water out of it or the coolant. Well, let's see, let's see. You see it? Yeah, I can see it. All right. All right, cool. So this will be, that's number, I don't know if that's number one or number four, but that's number four that we've done. So that's all the plugs. That's all the cylinders. And we're gonna let it soak. So today is the next day and we're just looking at the car trying to figure out some of the other stuff that we need. We took the distributor cap off and we noticed that there are no points in there and there's no rotor. So we're going to go try to source that from another car. We're going to take off the wheel. <laughs> so we can put a socket on the crank and turn the motor over a little bit. We just ordered some points and a new coil because it doesn't have a coil. And uh, so that bolt right there, we can turn the engine over with that. Let's try to get some, some of that oil that we squirted inside the cylinders to move around a little bit. Because we want to be sure that it does turn over because it's been a little while. So before we start doing really much to it. We're going to try to make sure that uh, we can also hot wire it because it doesn't have an ignition switch. So we're going to try to figure out how to hot wire it. So we'll try that too. So we're getting ready to turn it over. I got me set up here with a ratchet and a 17 millimeter socket. Uh, my dad is taking out the spark plugs. We put transmission fluid in all the cylinders to try to oil, oil up the cylinders a little bit. And we just wanna we just wanna make sure that it does turn over before we pour the oil in it. We don't wanna waste the oil Cause, if we don't have to. Yeah, because we don't wanna waste the oil if we don't have to. And then this car doesn't have any points in it, doesn't have a, a rotor in it. So, and then we checked the coils from the other cars and they were back. So we ordered a new coil. We're gonna use a rotor from a different car. Got different plugs? One one plug is different than the other, but I mean, it's, it, doesn't have the, it doesn't have the little thing on there. Might need to get some spark plugs or take them out of another engine. Now that we know that it turns over, we should boil in it. 
So now that we know that the engine does turn over, I just wanted to turn it over a little bit just to make sure that it wasn't locked up. So now that we know, we're gonna pour some oil in it because I don't wanna continue turning it over completely dry with no oil in it. Because if there's a chance for it to run, I don't wanna ruin my chances by turning it over with no oil. I mean, doing it by hand is probably not gonna hurt anything, but better safe than sorry. We have the oil, why not pour it in? Because we're gonna try to start it anyway. Uh, we're gonna add some oil to it because it doesn't have any, we drained it, so. We got some cheap oil just for now, conventional. Yeah, no need for expensive. This is only a test. So right away we're running into another issue where the timing belt is slipping off as we're turning it over by hand. And if it's slipping off by hand, it's not gonna stay on when it's running. So the belt's coming off. We oiled it a little bit with some WD-40. And we're gonna try to see why it's coming off. All right, so things are taking a little bit longer than expected. We're waiting on parts. We're waiting for the auto parts store to get the parts in stock. Because they didn't have them. They had to get it from other stores. We're gonna bring the Honda in the garage. So the little brown car has good uh, wheels on it. The tires are good. So I'm gonna take the wheels off of the little brown Honda and I'm put them on the orange Honda to make it easier to move the Honda around because it's really hard to move with four flat tires. This one's got a, a screw in it. This tire got a nail in it. Look where I just found. I don't know when that happened. That's a nail. That's like a little stick. Or maybe not. Let's see. It's like a little pin. Can I pull it out? Oh, we're good. Yeah, give me that thing. I'll put it in the trash can.
we're taking that we took off the belt this belt is completely shot we don't want it to break when the engine's running and then we took off the tensioner I have the tensioner right here i'm gonna clean it a little bit to make it look a little bit better and it's taking us a little while we're not much of a uh, honda mechanics we've never worked on this car or this engine before so we're just learning as we go and if something breaks you'll see it you have any comments or got any good information leave a comment so i'm gonna clean this up a little bit right now and when i'm using the wire wheel i always use eye protection and ear protection Obviously, it's gonna be really hard to show you guys, so we'll come back when we have it on. All right, so as you can see, we got the new timing belt on. We had the tensioner taken off and we put it back on. We got that figured out. And now it's nice and tight. So we were having a problem where it wasn't tight on the side. It was because the tensioner wasn't tight enough. Now we're gonna put the battery in it. We're gonna run a jumper wire to the starter to see if we can get this thing to crank without an ignition key. But we're not getting any power at all, right? <laughs> well, we got to turn over. That's exciting. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't have no power anywhere. We need that. We poured transmission fluid down the cylinders to kind of loosen them up. The motor does turn over. We're going to try to, uh, I bought this thing. Hooked it to the starter. We're gonna hook the other side of it to the positive side of the battery. Get the motor to spin over, and if anything is left over in the cylinder, it's gonna shoot it all out. All right. Good. Put the spark plugs in. So now we're gonna put the spark plugs in, and we're gonna to try to start it, right? Yeah. Gas in there, get that carburetor, start it up. We got some starter fluid right there. Got some just in case stuff. Then we're gonna grab it. Okay. So if this thing starts, it's gonna be pretty loud. The oh. exhaust is right there. Gas in the carburetor, car plugs in. All right, Let's see what happens. Ready?
think we have a spark. Turn it over for a little while, so I'm assuming that it should have oil pressure by now. We don't have alternator hooked up. Got some smoke coming out from the bottom. <laughs> you want me to spray it in there or what? Let me see. Oh, you know what? I might have flooded it, so let's see what happens. I think the timing is off. Where's the throttle on this thing? Right on your side. <laughs> All right, so we got the fuel line sort of rigged up a little bit. The other one was leaking a lot. Just went to uh, AutoZone, bought some hose clamps, and we had some fuel line. And we'll be pouring some gas in it a little bit at a time. So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to start it again, and we're gonna see if it's gonna run without having to pour uh, gas down the, down the carburetor. It should be like factory. I don't know. I think the timing belt. I think the cam is off a little bit when I put the new belt on. So we're kind of trying to figure that out right now, but we thought we'd give it another try anyways and see what happens. Ready? Yeah. All right, well, this is gonna be the end of the video. It was pretty exciting to get it to run just for a little bit. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment. If there is any Honda guys watching this, 
and you know some information that might help us, make sure you drop a comment. And maybe in the next one, we'll try to get it running a little bit better and maybe we'll take it for a drive out in the backyard in the dirt. We'll see what happens. But for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to turn on the bell. Catch you in the next video.